We sincerely hope you never end up in a dangerous situation, but just in case you do, we're here to help. We'll teach you how to save yourself if you end up trapped in a trunk or needing to burst down a door. Get ready for these potentially life-saving tricks. To learn even more amazing tips and tricks, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then join our notification squad. Car Trunk if you have to choose a car to get stuck in the trunk of, pick one that's a 2001 model or newer. After that year, vehicle manufacturers were required to install an emergency interior trunk release handle located right under the trunk latch. If you're in a moving car, try kicking out the taillight. You'll be able to wave your hand and shout for someone to help you, which works better than leaping out of the trunk onto the highway. Breaking down doors. Maybe you're trying to escape a burning building, or maybe you lock yourself out of the house and you really have to go to the bathroom. Rushing at the door like they do in the movies will just end up hurting yourself. Make sure the door opens swinging away from you and aim your kicks towards the keyhole. Don't kick the lock itself, but aim your blows to the weakest part of the door near it to get it open. Sandstorm. No, we aren't talking about the infamous ballad by Darude, we mean an actual sandstorm. If you're in your car, pull off the road and turn off your lights to avoid other drivers being drawn towards you. Roll up your windows, close your vents, and don't even think about getting back on the road until the storm passes. If you're on foot, take cover behind a large object, and if nothing is available, look for higher ground. Use cloth to cover your eyes, ears, mouth, and nose, dampening the material if at all possible. Capsized Canoe if you find yourself needing to get back into your canoe, roll it over onto the correct position. Situate yourself in the middle of the canoe and grip the edge with both hands. Rock the canoe back and forth to get out all of the water that has gathered inside of it. Then grip the far side of the canoe and hoist yourself up once it's mostly free of water. Shark Attack Encountering a shark is a fear that many of us have, but there are ways you can improve your odds of survival. If you see a shark in the wild, try to resist the urge to thrash around while you panic, since your movement will attract it. Instead, swim away from it calmly but quickly while keeping an eye on the shark the whole time. If the shark does bite you despite your best effort to look chill, fight back. Aim for the eyes, nose, and gills, and utilize any snorkel or scuba equipment you might have on hand. Snake Bite if you find yourself bitten by a snake, try to stay calm and remember what the snake looked like so you can tell doctors when you get to the hospital. Take off anything that could constrict the bite area, including shoes, jewelry, or tight clothing. Clean the wound with water and loosely bandage it. Using a tourniquet or trying to suction out the venom, it won't help. Keep the wound still and below your heart as you make your way to the hospital. Jumping from a car. Leaping from a speeding car should definitely be a last resort, but if it does happen, open the door as wide as possible so you don't get snagged on it. Aim for a soft spot and leap perpendicular to the car's movement. You'll want to utilize the old tuck and roll technique, especially when you're landing. Frostbite should your skin get red and sore before becoming pale, numb, and firm, you might have frostbite. If your skin is wet, dry it without rubbing it too much. Cover it with a clean, dry cloth until you find protected environment. Once there, soak the area in warm water until you regain feeling and coloration in the area. Escape duct tape. Being restrained with duct tape might seem impossible to get out of, but it is possible to free yourself. If your wrists are taped together, raise your hands over your head and pull down and out quickly. If you're taped to a chair, lean forward as fast as possible as if you're going to put your head between your knees. To remove tape on your ankles, squat down as quickly as possible. Elevator Crash If possible, utilize the handrail in the falling elevator to brace yourself against the wall, keeping your knees slightly bent. In the absence of a handrail, lay on your back with your arms shielding your face and head. Spreading out your body will help minimize the impact from affecting one particular spot on your body too much. Hopefully, you'll never end up in one of these situations, but at least now you know what to do if the worst does happen. Of course, please don't jump out of a car, kick down a door, or fight a shark unless absolutely necessary. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Hub for more. Bye for now.